Advances in acute myeloid leukemia, or AML research, are resulting in better and safer treatments that are improving the quality of life for people affected by AML today. AML is a cancer of the bone marrow and blood that gets worse quickly if not treated. So it's important to start treatment as soon as possible after diagnosis. The type and amount of treatment needed depends on the subtype of AML, the genetic makeup of the leukemia, and your overall health. Typically, AML treatment is divided into two parts or phases. The first phase is called induction therapy, and the second is called consolidation therapy. Chemotherapy is the most common type of treatment used during both phases. Chemotherapy uses powerful drugs to destroy fast-growing cancer cells. These drugs can also damage other fast-growing cells that are normal. Typically, intensive chemotherapy is given intravenously at a hospital using a combination of cytarabine and an anthracycline drug such as donorubicin and idorubicin. Venetoclax, mitostorin, and inosinonib are examples of targeted drugs that may be used to treat AML when specific genetic mutations or changes are present. Advances in our understanding of the genetics of AML have led to new targeted therapies. Targeted therapies work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal, healthy cells. For people who cannot tolerate intensive chemotherapy, oral medications, Benclexta and Glastigib, two targeted therapies may be used in combination with lower dose chemotherapy. Most people with AML go to remission after induction therapy. A person is in remission when their bone marrow contains fewer than 5% blast cells, blood cell counts have returned to normal, and they may have no signs or symptoms of AML. But more treatment is usually needed to destroy any remaining cancer cells and prevent AML from returning. Treatment during this time is called consolidation therapy and without it, the AML is likely to return. In addition to chemotherapy, a stem cell transplant may be recommended during the consolidation phase of treatment. A stem cell or bone marrow transplant replaces damaged bone marrow cells with healthy bone marrow cells from a matched donor. All treatments can have side effects a side effect is an unwanted or unexpected reaction to a medication or treatment that usually gets better over time. With chemotherapy, the most common side effects include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, temporary hair loss, mouse sores, rashes, and numbness or tingling in the fingers and toes. People who have had a bone marrow transplant may experience side effects that come from receiving another person's stem cells, such as a higher risk of infection and graft versus host disease, or GVHD for short. For some people, taking part in a clinical trial may be the best treatment choice. Clinical trials are underway for patients at every treatment stage of AML. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada if you'd like to learn more about a clinical trial. It's important to remember that you'll have a better quality of life if you stay connected, build a network of support, and communicate openly with your healthcare team. You're not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand your AML treatment options and manage the road that lies ahead.